So I decided to make a series of documenting my journey through Nomad Sculpt. Now I have used it before, so but it's been quite some time. So I'm hoping that documenting this will show you and keep me accountable that we can learn any style of art that we want as long as we put our minds to it. So what I like to do first is sketch up a little drawing of a character. I really did this on the top of my head and I love using Procreate because it just feels like I'm drawing on real paper if I don't feel like using pen and paper at the time. And I really love the mirror tool because it speeds up the process so much and it also helps in Nomad Sculpt because you can use mirror for objects in there as well. So here I'm just really refining everything and deciding on how I really want this character to look. And I will tell you, it's going to look a lot cuter in the drawing because I didn't feel like figuring out how to do the eyes exactly in Nomad Sculpt. So I really decided that it is a kind of like a creepy bunny character and that's what I'm going for I guess. So you can see that I've already done something else and I'm going to make a new sculpt. And if you're using like a reference photo, it's really great in Nomad Sculpt that you can put this in and also change the opacity and overlay. So you can really try and get the true shapes of your object or character or whatever you decide to draw if you're using a reference. Um, and then I really like to go in with simple shapes, mainly spheres, and then stretch them or make them smaller to fit what the character really looks like. If, and if you think about it, almost everything can be drawn in circles or with circles. So this makes it a lot easier, especially if you're not making like a complex drawing or sculpt. So I like to keep it simple, especially since I'm very rusty. It's been probably a couple months since I've used Nomad Sculpt, like on a daily basis, so I'm just really get, getting back into the swing of things. So more, for more complex shapes like this hat, or if you're making a cup, I really like to use the Laz, or maybe Laze, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, so if you know the right way of saying it, please correct me in the comments below. But it really makes, uh, making complex shapes a lot easier than having to use multiple shapes and then voxel remeshing them together and it just speeds up the process and I'm so glad I found out how to use this and it's really not that hard. You can move the little things around so it fits what you need it to do and it's really that simple. And then really I just go in on the objects that I have placed on this character and Voxel remeshed it so it's a little bit denser so when you move things it's not as extreme. Smooth them out and then kind of quad remesh. You do have to pay extra for that. So you pay for the base price. I believe when I got Nomad Sculpt it was around $15. No subscription. Hell yeah. I am so sick of subscription based products. I know it's a way to keep keep coming back for the business and they are always earning money and then they'll always continue to update for you but oh my god I'm so glad that Nomad Sculpt was a one-time payment I highly recommend buying it especially if they may change this in the future I know some apps have done that before and I'm and usually you're grandfathered in so that you don't have to keep paying you paid for that one-time price and then the quad remesher is a new app feature in it, which helps like remesh the, so in sculpting, it's a lot of triangles and this just kind of makes it neat. I could make a tutorial about it or go into depth if you're interested, leave a comment below. And here I tried to make a butt on this guy and it was just not working out. I tried multiple ways with the inflate tool, adding sphere, I'm mirroring it, mirroring it and it just looked kind of funky and I was like, you know what, he just won't have a butt or she, whatever they decide to be. Um, but yeah, so I'm just messing around 
pretending I know what I'm doing, smoothed it out, voxel remeshed, and I end up getting rid of it because I was just like, that's a weird looking butt. I will have to research how to make butts. So um, stay in tune for that. Anyways, I go in and make these eyeballs and they are creepy. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I didn't want to really want to spend too much time on it, but maybe I should just kept them plain circles. I don't know. But they just kind of turned out a little creepy on the guy, which is not a bad thing. It was just not what I was going for, but I was a little crunched on time here. So I just kind of went with it. And then I make his little tiny snoot, you know, because the bunny's got like a little tiny nose and they wiggle it around and all of that. And then messed around with the eyes some more. And then I decide how to make the face or the mouth. And I use the crease tool for that. Um, it's a lot easier than using the tube and getting something weird, especially I don't want the, uh, the mouth to be really a focal point. It's just part of the face. Sometimes I even leave out the mouth or nose, depending on the character, and just go really with the eyes. And then I make his mouth too big. I'm like, that's not okay. So fix it up a little bit, you know, smooth it out, voxel remesh some, fixing the legs up, you know the deal. So here's where the eyes kind of get creepy. I tried to use light reflection, reflection, re reflection, and it just kind of looks uh, like spider eyes. And I am not a fan, to be honest. It was like giving alien, it's giving spider bunny, which actually would be kind of cute when I think about it. Anyways, that's not what I'm making. And it kind of worked out. I kind of didn't like it. So I actually end up getting rid of it. And here I go into out of the matte cap so I can see the colors that I chose for this character and I fix it all because I didn't want a glossy bunny. But anyways, um, I fixed the face up a little bit because I didn't want it to be just like a plain circle, more of a, like the snoot coming out a little bit like a bunny. But I wasn't going too hard and heavy just because this is just really a warm up for the next ones that I'm going to do. Just getting myself re-familiarized with this. And um, this, I want to document the series because I did not go to art school, I didn't major in art, I didn't take art in high school. I've just been obsessed with creating ever since I was super young. I remember drawing in elementary school like all the time. Art class was my favorite along with gym because I am a big gym nerd now. And um, it's something that I just love doing and if you love doing it too, I just want to show you that you can choose whatever medium you want and if you, as long as you stick to it you will get better um you watch things how people do their how they do their art especially if it's something similar to yours you can learn from them and it's just fun to create and i think every person should be creating because it just keeps us happy it keeps us alive it's what makes us feel like we are creating things into the world that bring us joy and spark joy for others especially if you find people um, who like your art it's crazy to think that there are people even like one other person that likes your art and they go wow that's so cool like I wish I could do that and they can and you might inspire them to start creating as well now here I do go back into his butt that sounds wrong um, I go back to drawing his butt there we go and I usually do use the tube tool, but I was feeling kind of lazy and just wanted to use the crease tool and that wasn't working. It was, uh, it was giving impacted butthole or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so I actually used the clay tool and voxel remesh so there's a little bit more density to the clay and I do like an X on his butt. And I always like that's cool. So this is the finished product, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. That's really what it is. So let me know what you thought about this, if you enjoyed it or not, what I should draw next in the comments below, or sculpt I should say, and or if you have any questions or comments about how to use Nomad Sculpt, and we can actually learn together. So I'll see you in the next video, have a great day, I love you, bye!